you broke up seven passes last season but didn't get an interception. What are you working on this spring to change that, and how eager are you to get your first pick this fall? Um, uh, yeah, last year we did get a lot, a lot of hands on balls, uh, and in practice, just just the start of the spring, uh, just doing extra work, just doing ball, ball skill drills, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Just going up and getting the ball practicing what I want to do in the games. Dirk. Hey, Echo, you, you had a pretty good year for your first year starting, but because it was a kind of a COVID year, how eager are you guys to kind of put last year in the past? Um, very eager. Um, I mean, we just go out there trying to get better every day, um, trying, to get, trying to get as much as we can out of each day. And we're all excited just to roll and keep getting better. Absolutely. Individually, what do you want to accomplish? Um, individually, uh, gaining weight uh, first and mm -hmm. strength and just just getting a better understanding of the game in, in a whole. Yeah, for sure. What, what's your weight at now? What are you trying to get to? Um, I'm about 168 right now. Um, I think... Right now, my goal is to at least at least be at 175 during the season. What's what's the most different thing about your game or, or about your skill level right now compared to last year? Where have you taken the most strides already this spring, or where's it showing um, up? I'd say for sure, just the mental aspect of it, um, just just learning and understanding formations and scheming, and uh, yeah, scheming and formations for sure the most, the mental side of the game. Okay. And what have you seen from, I'm sure he's kind of your new pal in the secondary right now, Julius Burns. I'm sure he's going to play a lot there with you. Uh, how are you guys different? How are you guys the same? Um, Julius is a great kid. Uh, he's long, real long, tall guy. Uh, he loves the game, which I mean, and he's just a competitor, which just brings, just brings some extra juice to the, to the position group. And, we're excited for Julius, and I'm excited to play alongside with him for sure. Thanks, Echo. Michael. Yeah, Echo, Coach Kleiman mentioned on Friday uh, the team as a whole playing faster. How do you see that uh, being part of the, the defensive flow and uh, just playing downhill a little bit more with uh, Coach Kleiman's system? Yeah, um, I mean we have we have the guys to uh, fit fit a fast defense. We got guys just we got ball hawks, uh, guys that want to make plays. So I'm I'm just really excited to uh, showcase that those talents and get to rolling. Seems like you guys have got a good mix on the defensive side of the ball of of young and old. Where would you classify yourself, and how do you feel like you've evolved in the last couple of years as a player? Um, I would for sure class, classify myself as an older kid. Um, I feel like a leader of, of my cornerback group. And uh, yeah, I'm just, we're all just excited to uh, showcase our talents and get to work. How many, how, how big a strides can the defense make from, uh, from last year's performance? Um, I think we'll make strides, and I've already seen strides for sure. Uh, just guys running to the ball, just urgent uh, to make a play. And I think that's a difference from last year itself. Uh, even though we lost a few guys, uh, I think we have guys, younger guys, and uh, guys like me that'll just step up, and there won't be any difference. Thank you, Echo. Fitz. Hey, Yoko, uh, is it really incredible to look back to where you were a year ago at this time to uh, finding a way on the field at Oklahoma and improving yourself and now you're a starter in the Big 12? Yeah, it's it's been it's been a long, uh, long road. Uh, fun one, though. Uh, I mean, I just kept my head down and worked and did what I was supposed to do each and every single day. And the opportunity will always come if you just put your head down and work. 
And finally, are you guys doing anything different on the defensive side of the ball this year? Um, we have we have a few few little things that we've put in, but that's that's all I can say. <laughs> Dang, I tried. Um, <laughs> how good is the depth back there, at corner, right now? Um, it's I think I think it's good. Uh, we have JG, which is a guy that's already played. He's had considerable amount of snaps uh, last year. Um, we have T. Denson, who was just up here. Um, he's a great kid, he's a very smart kid. Um, so he'll do great. And we, like you said, we have Julius, which is also another great player. He'll be a great addition uh, to our group. And with those, with those four, um, I'm excited. I'm excited to get busy. And yeah. I'm just going to ask this. I wasn't going to, but as a as a kid from uh, the state of Kansas, and you look what's going on down the road at Kansas right now, how happy are you to be at Kansas State? Uh, of course, I'm excited, and I'm, I'm I think I made the best uh, decision uh, with those two schools and being here. Um, yeah, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Hey, Echo, how you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? Hey, doing well. That's a very diplomatic answer on KU, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I was going to ask you, you know, based off just how, how well you played last year, what, uh, what are your expectations for what you can do this fall individually? Um, like someone just said, uh, turning those PBUs into interceptions and just being a game changer, uh, helping out my team more. And as much as I can with those balls that were deflected, just changing those in the interceptions and just being a more physical player and helping out on the run game more. Are, are you someone who sets like individual goals in terms of like, I want to get two interceptions and 10 pass breakups? Or are you just more like, as long as I'm helping the team win, I don't really care what my individual numbers look like? Yeah, I've never really been the been the guy that's all into the stats I think I just go out there and give it all give it my all and whatever happens the outcome it happens hey thanks so much Echo appreciate it thank you last one here Derek hey Echo I know you were a, kind of a big part of Keenan Garber picking K-State of course because you guys have been pretty good buddies for a long time how would you kind of describe his ascent um, at K-State so far? Because we're hearing his name pop up a lot more often this offseason. Yeah, uh, Keenan, is a, he's a great guy, great kid as well. Uh, a tr tremendous speed. Um, I think he already, he's just, he just kept keeping his head down and he's been working. He's already had a great spring already, even though we've only had three, three practices. He's been, been the highlight of the offense to me for the wide receiver group. And I'm just excited for him to get his opportunity and showcase his talents. Is his path starting to look kind of similar to yours where it's a little bit of a slow start, but he has the potential to bust out and be a top performer? Right. Um, we talk about it every day. Um, and I just try to give him advice, just being a year older than him. Um, he's kind of on the same, same track as I was. And yeah, I'm just excited for him. <laughs>